You said in a past event that uh, 76 people die daily because of cancer. That is a big number. That's a really big number. And um, we estimate that uh, that's 75, 76 actually underestimated. Yes. Uh, because, of course, the source of that data would be what we call the National Cancer Registry or estimates or what you may call uh, projections mm. from the global data. Uh, we know that there are a lot of people who actually die of cancer, but they never really access a health facility. Yes. Meaning that, therefore, they may not be recorded. Mm -hmm. Because, of course, we know that uh, access to health services in this country and many other countries in Africa is only about 40%. Yes. Only about 40% of people have access to, to health care. But uh, that, as it may be, um, it means that we are losing 75 lives every day. 75, 76 lives every day. That is 75, 76 families that are affected on a daily basis. And that amounts to more than 27,000 people mm. in an annual basis. The challenge actually is not even, um, you know, it's, it's more about why is it that we are losing so many people and how many are actually being diagnosed at the same time? Because yes. the 75 is daily deaths. We estimate that about 115 diagnoses are made on a daily basis, which tells you that if you're making 115 diagnoses every day and 75 or 76 are dying every day, that's a very high ratio of people who die out of the ones who are diagnosed. And this is actually the challenge, and this is what brings us here today, because you may get cancer, but then if you're diagnosed early, then you don't have to be a statistic within the 75. Yes. So the big challenge for us is how to reduce the burden of cancer overall, so that we don't diagnose so many people on a regular basis, which means prevention, but also how do we diagnose them early for those who actually eventually get it, so that we are able to save their lives, which is the work of Dr. Nyongesa and her team, mm -hmm. to say we do early diagnosis, and then for those who do early diagnosis, then the chance of survival is you know, significantly higher, yes. uh, which is really the question we are asking. How do we ensure we downstage, we bring, we diagnose people early, mm -hmm. so that they have a chance of survival? That brings